Okay guys, welcome to part two. Uh, exactly the same, no editing. Just literally continuing on from my last video, uh, which was showing this. Sorry it's had to be in two parts, but that's how it goes. This is a live unboxing, which I wanted to do, a live unpacking. So uh, let's continue, because there's a lot more stuff still to do. So yeah, it had to be in two parts. I had no choice. I really didn't. I haven't even had time to eat that Kit Kat Chunky yet, so I've just literally gone on to recording the next phase. And like I said, I don't know what's in these things. Things have been hidden in game, so I've got to check everything before anything just, you know, gets put away because I just might miss something and then I don't want, don't want to miss something. Okay, I'm getting into opening this next bit up. Okay, right, right, we've finally got there. Oh, no, we haven't. Just do another bit. It's either the knife or the scissors that I need to use. It's hard to um, tell. Okay. Right, we've got a DVD case, blank, on the outside. And what have we got on the inside? Oh, that's nice. I don't know what I can use that one for. We've got a screen protector, which looks to be for one of those old style Motorola screen phones, but I think I can stick that on my iPhone clone and uh, we'll see how that covers it. We've also got inside with a note Resident Evil 2 for the PS1. So we've got disc 1 of 2 and disc 2 of 2 and the condition is actually fairly reasonable. And we've got a note uh, for Bizarrely, it's Resident Evil 2 Platinum Booklet, but proper discs for the actual games. And he's got uh, another pretty good game that you will enjoy playing. I recommend that you don't sell nor swap this one, but at the end of the day, it's down to you. Okay. So let me just put that back in there. Oh, I almost forgot this. Um... What's this one then? <laughs> We've still got... I'm just confused as to what I've shown and what I haven't shown. Okay, another empty DVD case. That. And inside was a Inlay for V Rally, which I believe there's nothing special with, I'm not sure, because I already traded him a factory fault V Rally game. Please do correct me, Joe, if I'm wrong. Uh, well, I've got the inner lay. Actually, it looks like, I don't know. He sent me, I don't think he sent me the game, but he sent me the V-Rally inner lay for the back, and it looks like he sent me the um, the front and the booklet for V-Rally as well. Yeah. Okay. That's, the, what, that's what's happened. But no game, unless I find that somewhere else. But still, very nice, cool, Brucey bonus to have. Thank you so much for that, dude. Right, um, oh my. a big box, and we've got another box in there, and that's about it. Oops, something's rattling inside, and that's about it. So we've got an air bag in there, and we've got a big box down here. Let's open this one up first. That's got to be the ring, so I'll leave that in the um, camera's viewing angle. Ouch, just cut my finger. Something's loose in here and I'm a little bit concerned. I hope nothing got damaged. God, we're already up to five minutes on this one. I to speed up. There, may have... there surely can't be a part three, surely. Right, this is where the rattling's coming from, in this section of the package. Right, if I can, uh, I think it might be just a loose disc, but we need to check. 
Oh, wait a minute. Had that there, that's okay. Don't want to cut into the game. Oh, that's unusual. Uh, we've got Final Doom on the PS1. I really recommend that you keep this dude because this is such a good game. I'm sorry but I can't read every single part of the notes because it's just going to take too long. But we've got Final Doom for the PS1. Uh, some rattling, some rattling. Right, okay, that's that's good to know. Right, uh, we've got a an American Preacher's PS1 game. So I've never ever seen or held or touched a... American, oh wait, it's different now. It's Creatures Game case, but we've actually got something else in here because it's scratched. Gauntlet Legends for the PS1. And he says this game doesn't work, but you could trade it in your local pawn shop like I did last time. Yeah, I won't say no more on that. That's a little bit cheeky of what I did, but I basically traded a game in that was scratched and pretended it was real and working and everything. And finally, we've got um, oh, what's this? We've got some sort of art fan art made art um, fan made art for Ragrats PS One, and then inside is Silent Hill demo. It looks like, or maybe promo copy. I'm not sure for the PS One. God Almighty! Can't open it because it's still sealed. Don't worry, we're doing okay for time. I'd like to thank anybody still present with me. Yeah, Silent Hill for the PS1. Okay. So we'll check that out later. And we've still got a few more bits and pieces. Ooh, that looks unusual. It's a surprise within a surprise, by the looks of things, I don't know. We've got Doom for the GBA, but is it Doom or is it something else? I have no idea, I'm not going to speak too soon anymore. Right, let's get out of that plastic. And inside, oh! I spoke, no, I should have spoke too soon, because it is actually Doom. Box the complete. So we've got the uh, GBA game, a nice little plastic thing here, with the manual, box to complete, oh wow, I keep getting surprised. Okay, and where else is it, here we go, oh, God almighty, don't tell me it's going to be part three as well. I did like, I have no regrets, you know, I wanted to do a live unboxing, I thought it'd be better for a change. Um, just very technical with um, the internet and everything. Oh, that's nice. A DVD video of Beyond Final Fantasy by Squaresoft. That looks really good, that. I'd definitely be watching that. I've never heard of that before, Beyond Final Fantasy, and Disney's action game featuring Hercules for the PS1, but is it the game? Oh, we've got something in it. It says, sell me. <laughs> sell me. Seems like there's money in here. Oh, there is. There's a bit of British currency. We've got British currency. If you watched my last video, I did that as well. There was like, there's like 20, 40 pence here. And the game itself, which is in decent condition. So thanks again for that, dude. God almighty. We've got to speed up. Okay, we've got this big box here. Before we open the ring up, big box, Zavix. I'm pretty sure it's Zavix Tennis, if I'm not mistaken. But it might not be Zavix Tennis, it might be something, um, it might be just Brucey Bonuses put in here, or it might be Zavix Tennis. Let's 
type of it. Oh god, things are falling out already. Oh, it's Zavix Tennis. It's Zavix Tennis for the Zavix port. Um, yeah, I don't know how to show this on camera. But we've basically got the... We've got the game. With the... Well, we've got two bats. Wow, they are well made. They're extremely well made, these games. These are uh, game accessories. It looks as if it's brand new. We've got brand new GP Green Cell Heavy Duty Battery Sealed. So that's a really nice surprise, that. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. And then we've finally got a few minutes left to um, show you guys what I traded him. So let's have a look. If I can open it carefully, it should be the gold NBA Championships ring, which is what we've all been waiting for. I can open it. Time. We must have enough time to open the ring. Okay, just bear with me, guys. There we go. Comes in a. Ooh, wow! <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Um, I've just opened it and. You're not going to believe what's inside, besides the ring. comes in this really nice black box. But inside, oh, we've got a note as well. I've just seen that underneath. Quickly, we've got less than three minutes before I get off air. I've had to rip the box, but it's mainly the ring that I'm interested in more than anything. Uh, he stuck the notes together. Oh, God, I'm not going to read everything. Here's the ring, dude. I hope it's not a replica. Does that mean a fake, by the way? Yes, it does if it is a replica. But if it's a high-quality replica, then it's not so bad. Um, I've had this for years, and my uncle told me that the diamonds were real. But I don't know if they are, if he was joking or not. Okay. I won't get upset, don't worry. Trust me, if it's a replica, I, don't, I, don't, I won't get upset. Because the boosted bonuses are more than enough to make up for it. And inside is 20 euros as well so thank you so much dude i know you usually do send me money and um, i wasn't just like opening the package up thinking i'm gonna get money you know and stuff like that um but thank you so much for the 20 euros dude that will help me out so much you really don't know how much that's gonna help me out really really will so thank you so much dude um and here's the ring guys Yes, it's in the bubble wrap. It's really heavy as well, it's really heavy. And it's sealed in the plastic. So yeah, that's the gold NBA championships ring. I need to um, get this tested a bit more, obviously. I've just looked at it, but that's what it looks like from 1998 Jordan balls it really really feels heavy and I'm surprised about that I thought it was going to feel lighter and it says um, CNG 1998 on it so thanks so much for that dude and uh, thanks for watching guys I've got literally seconds left to spare that's everything for now so um, just pulling it to that side so you can see um, I've got to sort all of this out but um, that is the package from Joe Short so until next time guys thanks for watching take care and bye for now